Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Unpacked with Jack. Today I have the Gigabyte Radeon R9-7970, I mean 280X. So the R9-280X is sort of AMD's kind of uh, mid to high range card just below the 290s, which we have no benchmarks of. Speaking of benchmarks, we will be putting up a quick screenshot of the benchmarks for the 280X right now. So pause the video if you want to check it out. It was for 3D Mark Fire Strike, Crisis 3, and StarCraft 2 all running at 1080p. Pause it, yeah, okay. Anyways, moving along to the unboxing. Not much to see. It is the three gigabyte version from the gigabytes. We have a video card. Put that aside. A cardboard cover. Uh, ooh, a Molex to 8 pin PCIe pin adapter. Molex to 6 pin PCIe. Ooh, what was. They have a display port to mini display port adapter. That's nice to see that they include that. Most companies don't do that. And a Crossfire Bridge. Oh, we still have more documentation on the bottom. Bear with me, guys. We have a Gigabyte graphics card, quick guide, and a coaster. <laughs> Not a coaster, it's actually a driver CD. Guys, remember that if you do download off the website for the latest drivers, you will get a significant increase than just downloading stuff on the driver CD. So, you know, give that a shot. You might even get 20% performance increase. Um, but, you know, I understand if you guys are just installing your drivers from a fresh computer build and you don't necessarily have the Ethernet drivers in yet and you want to just be able to play games first, that's what the driver CD is really what it means to me. But anyways, I digress. Let's get to the card. Opening her up, because all graphics cards are females. First off, we see Gigabyte's patented sort of wind force technology cooler with the three fans on top. On the inside, I'm not too sure if we'll be able to get a shot of that, but there is the triangle cool technology, just like the 270X, where they have in the middle of the heatsink a triangle so there's less turbulence and better heat dissipation when the fans blow on top of it. Moving along, uh, like we saw earlier that the power pins for the, this card are gonna be eight pin and six pin. We have the crossfire fingers covered up. Yes, and I said fingers because there's two of them. Moving along, we have two mini display ports with fancy port covers, a HDMI port, and a fancy schmancy DVI. Now that means you will be able to support up to four monitors with iFinity. And that pretty much else does it for the R9-280X, I mean 7970, I mean 280X. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.